Okay, here's another variation for you that starts from a sugar tuck. Here's what it's gonna look like in its entirety. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two. So we have a lot going on here in a very short amount of time. Ronnie, take it away. All right, we're going to do a sugar tuck. We dance one, prep on two, widening those hands just a little bit. Going into a rotational connection, bringing her in for three and. She's gonna step away on four. Guys, I'm stepping with her. The right hand's gonna go up and over. The left hand's gonna go down and I'm immediately gonna to go to the hip. As she steps through here, we're gonna do a rock and go for triple step. She's gonna be forward onto her left foot. I'm gonna release my right hand, pull the left hand or her hip toward me to have her dance a triple. Block the slot, guys, triple step. Finish out with an anchor. Let's do that one more time because my count's got a little freaky in the middle there. One, two, three, and four. Here's where it gets aggressive for five and six. We've got to turn her around and bring her back toward us. For five and six, turn her triple step or triple step. Now, guys, you do have to accelerate that turn because typically on a tuck ending, the lady just does that nice, easy turning triple. You want to pop her all the way through so that you get this rock and go kind of action. So this is definitely a spin lead versus a turn lead. Four, five, and six. Now from here, as soon as Ronnie starts turning me, he's reaching across with his right hand to catch my back. Palm away. So right now, I know I'm not going anywhere. And then he uses that to nudge me back in the direction I came from, finishing similar to a sugar push. Now ladies, anytime he makes contact with my back in a situation like that, I like to use that connection point to create some shape. So if I wanted to embellish this pattern a little bit, and I do this a lot when I'm passing through closed position, I can extend it here, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two. The most important thing to understand when you're changing shapes in a pattern like this is I'm changing my shape through my top, working with the connection, but then I'm immediately recovering to that natural posture pitch and poise position so that I can resume, but I don't want to allow my shape to continue to affect a pattern. So one more time, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, and two. Have fun playing with that. And ladies, again, as you're shaping, you're not depending on the guy for support, you're just depending on him for direction.